Ride with me as I do a neighborhood drive through tour of Queens Ridge. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and welcome to my neighborhood drive through series. And in this series, I like to drive through all the neighborhoods here in the Las Vegas Valley. Um, I've done several videos, so just check out my YouTube channel if you want to learn more about all the different neighborhoods here in Vegas. Right now, we're going to take a tour of Queens Ridge, and Queens Ridge is between um, Charleston and Hualapai. Charleston and sorry Alta and Rampart and Hualapai and a lot of people think that it's in Summerlin but technically it is not part of the Summerlin master plan community it is part of Piccoli Ranch believe it or not so Queens Ridge is a guard gated community they have two gates and it's well known for having these two bronze super huge horses in front of the guard gate now I've been in Vegas for a long time and I remember when we used to go to Red Rock um, National Conservation Area, that was the end of Charleston. That was it. There was nothing there. Um, I'll make sure I don't miss out on the community. It's a little further. Um, that was it. That was the end of the whole area of the west side. Uh, they didn't have Summerlin South or Summerlin West, or they had parts of Summerlin South, but they didn't have the Red Rock Casino or any of the Summerlin Mall or any of that. So this is pretty interesting how much this city has grown in the last 20 years, really. It used to seem like it would take forever to get to Red Rock. So we're going to take a right here on Palace, and you can see the bronze horses. So there's two gates, one's on the north side and one's on the south side. The north gate is on Charleston. And we are going to try to get in right here and see if they'll let me in. Uh, but while we're waiting, it is, Queens Ridge is an 800 acre development that was developed between 1997 to 2007. And it is located in the 89145 zip code. It is super close to Summerlin, Tivoli Village, Boca Park. It, lots of people get confused and think that it is part of Summerlin, but in reality, it is not. Home sizes in this community range in size between anywhere between 1,600 to over 15,000 square feet. A lot of it has like more of a Mediterranean European feel. Um, and what else? There's about, so Piccoli Ranch has 23 different neighborhoods and Queens Ridge is part of Piccoli Ranch, just FYI on that. Um, and so there's also what's called one Queens Ridge place, which are the two Queens Ridge towers. I'll get into more detail on that later. We're just waiting at the gate to get in. So I thought I'd go over some highlighted points. Now the interesting factor about Queens Ridge is the Badlands Golf Course lawsuit. Um, just like the one over there in, what was it? It's not Sunstone. There was another one up there that we did a tour of that had a golf course that died because the owner of the golf course wanted to build um, homes on it and the owners of of the people that have homes along the golf court wants to sue because they bought the house thinking that they were going to have golf course views. Um, so Queens, which was originally built alongside a 250 acre Badlands golf course that closed in 2016 and development of the land is currently tied up in lawsuits filed against the city of Las Vegas for obstructing property rights. Residents of Queens Ridge have tried to sue the owner of the golf course from wanting to develop a mix high-end estate homes and high-density multifamily housing. The developer purchased the course in 2015 and wanted to build nearly 3,000 residential units. The lawsuit has been stuck in litigation for over seven years. So that's just cray cray. So in 2022, the golf course remains dead with no homes. Around the perimeter, trees died and were cut, leaving two foot tall stumps. That is just awful. 
Yeah. Sounds like the other one. Yeah, sounds just like the other one. And this is a high-end community. I mean, Queensbridge is a guard-gated high-end community. Most of the people who bought back in here wanted to have golf course views or be in a golf course community. Play, yeah. Um, and so it's pretty awful. When you are buying in a community that has a golf course, you need to make sure that's owned by the association and not by someone else. Hold on one second. Hello. I am looking at a house at 9720 Camden Hills. Uh, can you say the address one more time? 9720 Camden Hills. Silverstone. That's what it was called. Yeah. Silverstone Ranch. I can't believe these. Yeah, and this is more like a higher end community compared to the other one. So could you imagine being no, I homeowners? Can't. I can't, and then on top of it. And it looks like the HOA is $321 a month, so what's the point? I don't even know if they still have access to a clubhouse. We're gonna investigate and see. Wow. So there's the South Gate and the 9720. So we're at the North Gate and we can't get through the community to look at the south side so we're gonna have to come out and then go to the south gate to look at the neighborhood over there when we're done Thank you. All right. I've only, I haven't been in this part. I've only been in, oh, I should have gone down that way. I've only been in the back part years ago. So yeah, that's where the golf course was. Isn't that awful looking? That's sick. Well, let's go tour around. Let's follow these cars. There's a community pool right there. We'll have to go check it out. Turn around and go check it out. This feels very tight. Very nice. Lots of pine trees. I think a lot of these homes kind of remind me of Tudor homes. Like they look Tudor style. Yeah, these houses are nice. Three car garages, they look pretty big. I like the stonework around them. Mm. Nope. It's cute. Is this gonna continue going? Huh, interesting side of the community. This would be nice to live right here so no one's in front of you. Yeah, but what street is that? That is... I don't know. Mm, that's too short of a drive to take a video of the houses. It's amazing everyone has grass here, mm. considering. These look like a good bunch to take. Nope, the sun is shining. You won't be able to see the houses. <laughs> Very, very um, unique looking. The um, outsides of the houses are very unique. Mm -hmm. 
not your typical Vegas stucco home. That's a pretty house. I need to flip around so I can get this side. All right, I'm gonna flip around so I can get some houses because the sun is on my left side, the north side, I guess, maybe. Let's flip right here. See? What? I'm just trying to show them how unique it is. Mm -hmm. Pink shutters? I'm surprised the association allows that. Windsor Place. Coo? Oh. Oh, that's cute. A little park right here. I'm gonna get out and take a video of the park. See you guys on the flip side. Okay, I just got out in between this community called Koo Gardens. Um, there's a nice little basketball court and a little park area, and I'm sure spread out through this community is gonna be basketball courts. I mean, not basketball park areas. It's a nice basketball court. Looks like they have a grass area. I bet you. Let's go take a peek. I bet you on the other side of those bushes is supposed to be the golf course. Let's go see. Yep, can't. The bushes are a little too tight, but it's all like a desert. You can tell, barely, but that was a golf course at one point in time. It's a shame. Anyways, I'm gonna truck it back to the car. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Okay, let's continue driving. Let's see what this neighborhood's all about. Yeah, I've never had anyone really interested in this community. I think the one time I did check it out was um, 2016, maybe, when I was getting into real estate looking for a rental property. But this, there's Windsor Park. Um, but that was years ago, and it was on a, the other side, and it seemed very tight in there. Tudor Park, Windsor, Queens Ridge. There's a couple of different developments. So this side, the south side, with the two horses, features a community, parks, and the clubhouse. So we're gonna go try and find the clubhouse. This definitely doesn't feel like Vegas. Mm -hmm. I like the light poles. Trespassing, no. Does that say jumping? That's pretty bad to have there. Violators will be prosecuted. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's awful. I bet you kids were probably trying to play on it. 
Oh, yeah, skateboard. Yep. Alrighty. Let's go check out these facilities. Looks like they have a community pool, but more than likely I will not be able to get into it because of um, it's not the season for it. And they have one tennis court. So I'm going to just take a quick video of the facilities and I'll, I'll be right back. We're gonna keep on trucking. We still got the old, whole other side of this neighborhood to check out. <laughs> it's gonna be a long video, I have a feeling. There's not a lot of people out in here. That's a shame. Cut down every tree. Every tree's cut down? Yep. Wow. Oh yeah, they did. Wow. That's where it used to be. I'm sure this was really beautiful at one point in time. This one's remodeling. What's this? That's interesting. Is that another gated community? I think like oh. Bigger homes. I guess so. Huh. I'm sure they have lots of walking. That's interesting. Maybe those are the exits. Oh, there's the keypad right there. Huh. Those are probably all the homes along the golf course that spent mm. millions of dollars and now they're upset. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all of those homes. Well, and this was seven years ago. I mean, it's been a long time. It's a long litigation. Yeah. All right, there's one more section that I missed, and then we will go to the south side. Let's see what this little neighborhood's all about. side looks like they got a lot of fake grass people. They got the memo. <laughs> Unlike the other side. <laughs> they didn't get the memo. This is a nice row of houses. These single story homes look huge.
All right, folks, I'm just going to drive around and um, get out of here and then head towards the south side of Queens Ridge. So when I get there, I'll turn this back on. So I'll see you guys on the flip side. Okay, so I'm exiting Queens Ridge right now, um, Queens Ridge North, and we're on Palace Court in Charleston, and if you could see straight ahead, it's Piccoli Ranch. So again, when this was developed, it's part of Piccoli Ranch Master Plan Community. Um, I have done a Piccoli Ranch neighborhood drive through tour, and I've also done a separate Piccoli Ranch video a couple years back, if you want to learn more about it. Um, so we're going to take it left on Charleston maybe and then we're going to take a left on rampart and as i mentioned in the beginning of this video everyone thinks this is part of summerlin but it's not it is close to a lot of summerlin amenities it's close to boca park tivoli village um so that's the one nice thing about it but again it is i stress it's not summerlin okay um and so the north entrance, or south entrance, sorry, I get confused, the south entrance, um, has the only one horse statue, and they don't have as many amenities as the um, other entrance because I guess maybe the homes aren't as expensive. I would imagine that's probably why. They have like some playground areas and barbecue pits, but they don't have a clubhouse like the other entrance does. So I'm going to stop talking. We're going to take a left on Fort Apache, enter through Alta, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Since I'm at the light and it's taking forever, I kind of wanted to go over the one Queens Ridge place, which are, this is the name given to two luxury residential condominiums, skyscrapers located in the northwest corner of Queens Ridge. Um, construction began on those two towers in 2005 and concluded in 2007. And the buildings are twins measuring approximately 233.5 feet high. Each tower has 20 constructive floors with curtain wall fa facades and distinctive architecture. The resulting large windows allow for views of the Las Vegas Strip and the Red Rock Mountains. There are a total of 385 units in both of the towers. Each building also includes a gorgeous 15,000 square foot, two-story penthouse. Building amenities include a 24-hour concierge service, indoor and outdoor pools, barbecue area, spa, fitness center, dry saunas, and steam rooms, Pilates studio, conference rooms, billiards room, resident lounge and bar, wine cellar, and a barista cafe. So that's a lot in those two towers. Now, the sad thing is, is that the monthly HOA for that community is probably like around $2,400 a month, which is like a mortgage payment. <laughs> so I would imagine, it's been a minute since I've looked to see how much those uh, condos cost, but I would imagine they're not cheap at all. And why would you want to have, even if it's $600,000 condo and you still have a $2,400 a month HOA fee, that's just in my opinion, redonkulous. But you know what? If you're rich and you got the money, then go for it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, other than that, that's a lot of money. So to the right is Boca Park, and there's so many awesome restaurants here in Boca Park. You have uh, the Cheesecake Factory, um, Kona Grill, uh, Grimaldi's, what else? Some Samba Latte. A bunch of stuff in there. Living Spaces, Target. Uh, then, then across the way is Tivoli Village, or Tivoli, 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 how do you want to say that? No, right. Tivoli. So we're taking a left on Alta, um, and in front of us is the Suncoast Casino, and that's been around forever. So that's why a lot of people think that Queens would just part of Summerlin, because it's really close to the Canyons Village in Summerlin. It's super next door to it. And then you also got Mira Villa, which are condos by Toll Brothers, right before you hit the second gate in Queens Ridge. 
So it's like smack dab in between Summerlin and Piccoli Ranch. So to the left are those two towers, one Queens Ridge place. Right is the Angel Park golf course, right? TCP. Oh, that's the TCP. TCP Vegas. Did I miss the entrance? <laughs> there is a. It's supposed to be on Alta. Really? Yeah, it's supposed to have one horse entrance. Hmm. Is this it? Maybe. No. Maybe right here. Yep. Mm. It's hiding. <laughs> I'm on a desert with a horse with no name. <laughs> <America>. <laughs> All right, so now let me get this one out. We're going to see. Hello. I'm a realtor and I'm here to see 300 Kings Clear Court. Maybe they were bronze at one point in time. They look metal, though. Did you hear what I said? No. Do you know what patina is? It's like a fake thing. Well, that's what happens. Like when it rains and oh, snows, yeah. it discolors with copper. And I, I believe it does it with bronze. It becomes like a green. Makes a sense. A greenish. It's a really cool thing. That's why they leave it. Yeah. Yeah, because see, you can see some of the horse's hair has that copper in it. Right. Makes sense. Even on the lamp here. See the lamp here? Yep. The base. Oh, yeah. It used to be copper, probably. Thank you. Okay. We are in the... I think this is the North Gate. I got confused. Yes, we're in the north entry off of Alton Drive. And I don't know where I'm going, so we're just gonna tour around this neighborhood. Wow. This nice. side seems um, a little more wider, I think, some of the streets. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. There's a I'm bigger a setback. Here. I like it. So the, this HOA, I wonder if it's a difference in HOA price. This one says it's $401. And it's more than the other side. Maybe the other side had the wrong price. But that is redonkulous. $400 for this. You have no access to the community pool? Or do you? I don't know. I think the only people that have access to the community pool are the people that live on that side. I would like to live right here. People can yep. jump on the wall. Yeah. But look at that house. That's pretty. 
That's a beautiful house. And this one too. Very nice. I don't know who the builder was of this neighborhood. If you know, let me know in the comments if you know who the builder is or was. They kind of have a Pulte or Toll Brothers kind of look. security dude <laughs> if he's going straight I'm going right community inside here. I bet you those houses are humongous. Yes, they are. They're huge. Yeah, this has like a Tuscany kind of feel. Yeah. Some of them still yes. look Tudor-y. I mean, look like New England kind of. Totally. This looks like Beverly Hills. Yeah, it's a huge ass house. Oh, this is nice. I bet you they put these shrubs here to hide the golf course that's not there anymore. So people don't look at barren wasteland. Wow. I think I like this side better. Even though it mm -hmm. doesn't have access to the pool. I like the houses better over here. No trespassing. No dumping. <laughs> wow. That's a beautiful house. Yeah. Yep. Well, you know, I mean, I understand that it sucks that there's no golf course, but I'd rather probably have something in there than not have anything in there. No, there's nothing in there now for seven years. For seven years? Grab some of these. Oh, yeah. These are huge. See, even houses built in the late 90s, early 2000s, they're still very close together. Look at that. That's a nice house right there. Very traditional looking. All right, let's keep on trucking. These houses would back up to the golf course. And could you imagine when you buy your house or, you know, if people are original owners, they spent a pretty penny on their lot premium because it was on a golf course. I mean, that's not cheap either. Toto, we're lost. 
we in Kansas? Is this a cul-de-sac? Yep. Executive Home Builders. Joey got the Google search and it's by Executive Home Builders. Never heard of them. Wow. They should make it into... Well, even if you did a park or you did yeah. something. Yeah. Like or, you walking. know, like how Summerlin has the Paseos. Yeah. That make it a trail system and, and make it natural habitat with, you know, desert landscaping. Yeah. Do something. I mean... They just don't want to hire people to maintain it. But I mean, desert, you know, how much is it to maintain a desert landscaping? Yeah, that's a shame. That is. Because this is a very beautiful neighborhood. Well, what if you're a big, avid golfer, too? Yeah. little section to check out I do believe playground oh there's a playground it's a cute playground mm. I'll get it on the way out Yeah, you could tell those ones, that, that one area, those were like million dollar houses probably. Yeah. <clears throat> but these are all different, very unique and it's not like cookie cutter, like traditional Vegas style homes. Every house looks different to me. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen the same house twice. We need to get rid of the pumpkins, maybe for Thanksgiving. Huh. Where are those Tudor-like houses? In the next neighborhood? Charming court. <laughs> yeah, these houses are very nice. I like this neighborhood, this side better, don't you? Yeah. They're all very unique. place for people to park for the playground. Maybe you're on the corner. I guess so. 
All right, I'm going to get out and park and show you the playground and then wrap this uh, video up. See you on the flip side. Well, that concludes my tour of Queens Ridge. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Uh, other than not having a real golf course, I think it's a very beautiful master plan community. I especially like the Northgate community better for some reason. It felt a little more open. The other one just felt very narrow. But if you like to have a unique home that's different than any other home here in the Las Vegas Valley, I highly recommend Queens Ridge. Let me know in the comments if you live in this community. Pay attention, I will post a link um, in the bottom of the description so that you can research all homes for sale in Queens Ridge. As always, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe of course, and share. And thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you guys on the next video. Bye.